Hey YouTube, this is A Spinkter coming at you live out of Christchurch, Christ New Church. Zealand. <laughs> hey YouTube, you know how it is. You know who it is. It's Ace. Hey, uh, today I want to talk about FL Studio and the way it handles samples because it has a very uniform interface and a lot of cross compatibility between different modules and it's even it's even easy enough that we can use uh, drag and drop for a lot of the functions here now this is uh, the track you just heard it's just a simple sample I recorded with a microphone about five minutes ago um, this is what we're gonna do here we're gonna try and use Edison a bit and we can use Edison to trim our sample to amplify it fade in fade out all the basics that you would expect from a uh, sample editing tool. Let's listen to this. A Spinkter! Alright, so that's me. Um, if I want to, I can, I can cut out bits of it. I'm just going to take this entire section here. I'm going to hit Control C to copy. And you can't see this menu, unfortunately, but in the Tools menu, once you've got a piece of audio copied, you can click on the function called Save Audio Clipboard to Browser. It's right here. When I click on it, my browser comes up and it has one piece of audio highlighted. That piece of audio hey, you. is my sample. Hey YouTube, this is a... Pretty easy, huh? Now there's a lot of things we can do with that. I'm gonna create some other functions here which will take samples. I'm gonna create a granulizer and I'm going to create an FL slicer. Fruity slicer. I'm gonna take this sample hey, you. I'm going to give it to both. Hey, you. Now the slicer does something different with it. If you haven't played around with this, this is, uh, for, for you reason aficionados, this is a combination of Dr. Rex and Recycle, all in one. Hey, It'll take my slices. It'll auto slice based on either the beat, the tempo, um, or the sensitivity that I can adjust down here. It's got... Um, one for the low frequency changes, one for the high frequency changes. And you can you can sort of see the way uh, it divides it up in finer increments as we turn the sensitivity up. Now this should probably do. I don't want to have it too complicated here. So with the slicer, what I can do is I can take this piece right here and I can just hold the left mouse button on it and drag it to one of my other functions. In this case, I just moved it to my granulizer. Doop. So with a little bit of play, Doop. you could probably get something that sounds decent out of it. Doop. Maybe not, but Doop. as an example of the interface, and how easy it is to move to move samples between one unit and another unit. If I'm not mistaken here, I'm gonna try this here. Um, we can even move these samples into uh, Edison using this Doop. same technique drag and drop and then if we need to make any major changes if we want to run some effects run some I don't know EQ uh, if you want to chop one small second out of it one small millisecond out of it that you want to use as a sound sound font or something okay there's uh, one more function here uh, citrus if you're using FL Studio 7 your package might include citrus or a demo of it uh, Citrus is an FM synthesizer, but it um, can do, I think, what's called a Fourier transformation. I'm probably wrong about that. But watch this. If if I take a slice from this guy, doop, 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 doop. Ace. Ace. This. this. Let's get something tiny here. What's this? <laughs> okay. See the shape of this wave? If I drag this into Citrus. It will do its best to analyze the waveform and to recreate it using a Fourier transformation. So each of these, each of these is uh, representative of the strength of a harmonic. It's um, as it goes along, the harmonics become smaller, more high pitched, highly resonant, and uh, the bottom is the phase. And using a, a combination of these, we can cre create some pretty complicated waveforms. Now this probably won't sound. A lot like we expect it to, but it is in fact using this wave. We can 
We can make some changes to it and we'll probably hear the difference a bit. Eh, not fully, but um, you get the idea. This is just one of the things that uh, FL Studio has built in or the Citrus plugin has built in. So there's quite a lot of versatility out of it. Even for um, for something we probably wouldn't use that for. You know, not, not, not my voice anyway, but maybe a clip from a uh, Rex file or some song that we've gotten a, a sample from. So, um, with this in mind, what you can do is make a single take of perhaps uh, some beatboxing or something. Hey, you too. Yeah, that's, you know, my example is not very good. But, uh, uh. but then you can uh, chop it up into different bits if you want. I can take this last part and just, this would make a pretty good symbol, I think. All it needs is a little bit of resonance. And it would pass as a symbol. Not the best, but again, um, whatever your input source is, you can chop it up however you like. Now, um, if, you're, if you're into recording, you simply uh, choose a channel which is going to be uh, driving some audio through it. You can use, oops, wrong one. You can use master if you want to pick up everything or just an individual channel. Turn your Edison on to record. And when you play your pattern. Hey YouTube, this is a Spinter coming at you live out of. You should see some action being recorded in Edison. Hey YouTube. So now we've got the exact wave output of that track. So you can use this not only to optimize your own patterns, is if, you, if you've got an effect which is very CPU intensive uh, to generate uh, very complex sounds, or if you're using a plugin which is very CPU intensive, you can dump it to an audio file and then just play back the audio clip, which will have all of your effects and all of your EQing and mastering included within it. So this is a great way to optimize when, you've, when you're running out of uh, CPU overhead, when you're maxing it out. <clears throat> Alright, although it's it's nothing uh, that sounds fantastic, it's nothing to be uh, exceptionally proud of, in fact it's a rather crap beat, I, uh, I just threw this together to illustrate uh, what you can do with uh, this particular um, program's sampling ability. This was all made with one sample. <laughs> was just done as an illustration of how easy it is to move samples in between uh, modules, how easy it is to work with, cut, manipulate s samples and slices of those samples, and uh, some of the power that you can wield uh, once, uh, once you know how easy it is to do this. That's all I got. Um, I hope some of you found this useful. This is Ace Binkter signing out. <laughs>